Have you ever wondered about the hidden costs of war? The profound words of Alexander Solzhenitsyn shed light on a truth that often remains obscured. A state of war only serves as an excuse for domestic tyranny. Let's delve into this statement and unravel the complex dynamics between war, power, and the erosion of freedom. In times of conflict, it is common for governments to invoke the urgency of war as a means to consolidate their authority. The fog of war becomes a smokescreen behind which oppressive measures are implemented and the rights and liberties of citizens are curtailed. Solzhenitsyn's words call our attention to the subtle manipulation that occurs when the nation's attention is diverted toward external threats. During wartime, fear and insecurity grip the populace. The desire for security and protection becomes paramount, creating fertile ground for governments to extend their reach into the lives of individuals. Surveillance is intensified, dissent is stifled, and dissenters are branded as enemies of the state. In the name of national security, domestic tyranny then takes root. But why does this happen? How does the chaos of war enable the rise of domestic oppression? One explanation lies in the psychology of fear. When faced with external threats, individuals instinctively seek shelter and protection from their leaders. In this vulnerable state, they willingly surrender their freedoms and rights, believing it to be a necessary sacrifice for security. Moreover, the patriotic fervor that accompanies war often fuels nationalism and blind allegiance to the state. Citizens are galvanized to support the government's actions, even if it means compromising their own liberties. Dissent is viewed as unpatriotic, and voices of reason are silenced in the name of unity. History is replete with examples of this dangerous dynamic. From wartime propaganda to the suppression of civil liberties, governments have exploited the chaos of war to consolidate power and suppress dissent. Solzhenitsyn's words serve as a reminder that we must remain vigilant, questioning the motives behind the actions taken in the name of national security. The consequences of this state-sanctioned tyranny extend far beyond the duration of the conflict. Once the fog of war dissipates, it often leaves a lingering legacy of oppressive policies and a weakened democracy. The erosion of civil liberties becomes normalized, and the power imbalance between the state and its citizens becomes entrenched. So, what can we do to prevent this insidious cycle? Awareness is the first step. We must recognize the potential for domestic tyranny masked by the rhetoric of war. We should scrutinize government actions and policies, especially during times of conflict, to ensure that they uphold the values of freedom, justice, and human rights. Additionally, fostering a culture of critical thinking and informed citizenry is crucial. We must cultivate a society where dissent is valued and open dialogue is encouraged. By nurturing a vigilant and engaged populace, we can hold those in power accountable and prevent the slide into domestic tyranny. Ultimately, Solzhenitsyn's words serve as a call to action. They urge us to question the motives behind the curtailment of freedoms during times of war and to safeguard the values that underpin a just society. By remaining vigilant and actively participating in the democratic process, we can ensure that a state of war does not become an excuse for domestic oppression. So, let's heed Solzhenitsyn's warning and recognize the dangers that lurk within the fog of war. We should strive for a society where freedom is not sacrificed at the altar of security and where the power of the state is balanced with the rights of its citizens. In doing so, we can forge a future that upholds the ideals of liberty and justice for all.